Hi guys, my name is Firefire and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn. Now in the last episode, we finally completed this tower. Well, we, we completed the outlook of it. We still need to make the power at the back, which we're going to do this episode. And as you might have noticed, all this is gone. So we're going to make a water, um, water production area here so that we can provide water for free hundred beavers now that's a lot of water we're gonna need i think it's around 24 tanks of uh water of the big tanks if we want to last a nine day drought and we're just in time for a drought as always also i moved this forward so we can put some trees and i put some berry bushes just in case i want to grow some beavers and yeah we've got this little uh bridge going out here and i filled out some of this so Quite a lot has been happening off camera, just to get the little nitty gritty bits out of the way. Before, let me pause it before we um, go into the drought. We also, so the, one of the main things I want to do today is power and water, like I said before. Thinking about power and we've got, I want to do this before the drought goes. I want to show you guys before the drought goes, should I say, is that the water mainly flows down here. It doesn't really flow this way. There's no real current here. So we're going to have to build a power wheel along here. So I want to use one of the new, the new power wheels. Well, to be fair, we can only use the new power wheels. We can have used the compact one or the big one. And I'm thinking of putting it here. Like so. Now, I don't know. Could we do that? That is interesting. I wonder... Hmm. So this is only going to be temporary until we get our district up and running, our power district up and running. That is a lot of materials. Let me pause it because I want to make sure that they can connect. So if we use... Is that a free platform thing? It looks like it is. And we go to power. Oh, that does connect then. Okay. I'm... I'm Picking up what you're putting down. Cool. We're going to let them deal with that. It's a lot of materials, but it can be done. And then we're going to need to bring that power round. I want to bring it underwater. Um, I don't mind wasting the materials. I just don't want it to be up on here, to be honest with you. Not too much anyway. So let's do something like that. Then we'll get... Maybe that, and get a leveler, or what, what are they called? High power shifts. Okay, I've never, never used that name in this game yet. So that's the first time using that. And then that should bring us underwater, pretty much. So then we can just get that all the way around and back up. It's a lot of resources but we'll deal with it we can deal with it and they can get around that so that's great can they get around that can they reach that they can't i should have a bridge going along here or here that might help well, I might just put scaffolding for now, just to help with construction. Can they reach this? Nope. Can they reach this? No. <laughs> okay. Hmm. We definitely need to do something about that. Okay, if we do... This. That should help with that. We need to delete this. Put that there and then get another path going around like that. We'll see how much they can build with that. And uh, we'll move this. We'll start putting this down. Okay, so I've got that coming around now. Put a bit of scaffolding up here so we can get up on this platform and deal with this. I do hope that this actually runs. 
because that would be a lot of wasted materials if it doesn't. Now we've got to think about how this backbone works. So we're going to need a lot of platforms here. Um, definitely something like this. I do want to be careful they don't start building it just in case I need to change it. That can hit that. Then I need to get these two. Oh, I've already started building it. Never mind. Never mind. Um, I can. I need to get these two in as well. Just wondering how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put an initial plan down. You know what? I'm gonna pause it because I got a feeling I'm gonna be deleting a lot. So I want to get these coming inwards. as much as possible. It is gonna come out quite a bit. Because to come out come down all these levels, it's quite a lot. That's why I wish they can just have one pole sort of going high. At least like five or ten blocks. That would be really nice. Be really nice with builds like this. So how would I get it to that level? We need to have, let's get this one first. Man, this is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be crazy expensive. And I feel like it's gonna come out too much. I might not like it. <laughs> I might not like it. So then they can meet up here. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the plan so far. They can meet up like that. Okay, okay. And then that will have to come all the way down into this. Which is going to be Oh, that's, that's a lot. It's coming down by one block each time. I wonder if there's an easier way or a more compact way of doing this. There must be is, to be honest with you. Let, let's try and figure it out. So I'm going to take some time to try and figure out a more compact way. I'll see you guys in a sec. And there we have it. <laughs> I want to say my little power spine, but it's by no means little. But it's a spiral going all the way up in a pretty much even fashion until it gets to the top. Which I don't mind, you know, it doesn't look too bad. And then we've got the outlet right underneath here, which we can then play about with however we want. And that will most likely change once we get a power district and we will make the power come from somewhere else. But it will still hit this point of connection, which is great. You can finally put the, unpause it. There we go. They have a lot to build. <laughs> they have a lot to build. I don't even think they can build it. I feel, I think I'll need to put scaffolding at some point um, so that they can build everything. But I'm gonna leave them to build whatever they can for now. Um, hopefully they can do all this bit from up here somewhere. They can mostly do quite a lot from here. Let me put a pathway in here. I mostly don't need to, but just so that they can mostly build all this jazz. And then I'll think about how I'm gonna get them out here at that point. Oh, I still need to get them across here. Shoot. <laughs> um, how are we gonna do that? We're going to do that by something like this. Nice and easy. Make a path there. 
I will actually prioritize that because I want to see how we're running. And that will let them get across there. Okay, so the next big thing, this is going to be, we're going to get a lot done. This is a lot of materials. The next big thing is water. Now we need 24 storage of water, I believe. Whoops, I accidentally, I accidentally pressed F12 and screenshot that. Well, so we need 24 storage of water. We also need the enough water pumps to get that water. So we're going to build out a big platform here. Um, what am I looking for? Platforms. And I want to use these. How is this looking? Uh, it's not really the right size, is it? Yeah, it's too, too tall. And that's way too tall. Okay, so we'll use these platforms, which three is actually perfect. And I'm gonna pretty much do it like that. Now, I believe you can cover that, but you know what? I don't want to just yet. I like to have the little hole there. It makes it look a bit more realistic. Even though these have holes in it, so it doesn't really matter. It still would come through. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do something like this. Now, we need to get water pumps in here. Now I'm thinking to put 20 for now. Hopefully that will be enough. And I'll start it from here. Let's see how it looks. Okay, let's delete some of these pathways. There we go. And I might do it double. Let's see how many we can get on here first. So water pumps. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm, we can actually, it's actually a perfect for 12. Hmm, I like that. So you might get 24 in here actually. I still need space for the actual storage, so I can't go haywire. But I can go a little bit. All right, let's do that for now. And let's get like that. Now remember, we are going to have 300 beavers. So I'm sure we'll have enough unemployed beavers to fill that up. Let's get that in there, that in there. Get some pathways going. So they can walk around. And we have a bridge there so they can come over. Cool. Now I need to think about uh, the water storage. This is going to cost so many resources. Now we could do something like this. Do I want to put it at the edge? Let's see. Oh, that fits perfectly, doesn't it? But that's only seven. <laughs> that's only seven. I don't believe we'll need to survive a whole ten, a nine day drought without water. Because as you see, some water stays there. We're not in a drought now, but some water does stay there. So let's get this area done. Let's get some more. Ah, that can be deleted. And we'll get some more. We've managed to be able to get a few more water storage in here. I do want to put it like that. It seems like it takes less space. Not seems like it does. It's a two space rather than a three space. Oh, that tree needs to go. Sorry, dude, but you need to disappear. Let's put that as high priority. Oh, they can't reach that, can they? 
Okay, that will go once they start building that out. So how many have I got now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus 7. That'll be 19. I don't like that they're different angles. I really don't like that. Should I pull it across? And put the bridge, uh, put the stairway here. You know what, that might be a plan. That might just be a plan. All right, let's change that around. And there you have it. All that water storage for 300 beavers. Should be enough. I'm gonna get one more there, like I said before. But yeah, that that is a lot. That is a lot. Also put two new bridges here. And I wanna make this sort of um, symmetrical. So if we do, what is it? One, two, three, four, the fifth block. So where's it? One, two, three, four, and then the fifth block is that one. We do something like that. And then just go up. Like so. We can kind of make that a little bit more symmetrical. And now these lot can get to here. And it's actually working. It's giving me uh, around 250 horsepower, which is not too bad. Hopefully when they're both working, it will give me a little bit more. We need to get to that. I'm making so many um, temporary scaffolding, it's crazy. Uh, if we do like, like there, maybe that's a bit too far. Oh no, that's perfect. Look at that. Look at that. All them hours of building paid off. I can finally judge it. <laughs> I can finally judge it. Okay, why are you not getting built? You haven't got the resources yet. Okay, so I think looking pretty dandy. I don't know why I keep on saying dandy. I don't know. Ah, we can't get to that. Hmm. 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 I may have to build some stairs somewhere. Or delete a bush. If I delete a bush. Okay, I didn't know those B sounds. If I delete a bush, because bushes are easy to make. I could do something like this. For now. And that means they should be able to build everything. In there. Cool. Cool. Sounds good to me. And then I'll do this. And this. They can build infinitely downwards, not upwards. And then once that's all done, I will delete whatever I don't like. That's just another form of scaffolding. Hopefully they can get out of that far as well. Let's do that, do that, and that. That should be good enough for them to do all of that. Okay, so that is that. That's massive. This is a massive town. <laughs> this is a massive town. And once we've done this one, we're gonna do a farm town and I've got a I've got a pretty good idea where we're gonna make the farm. But you know what time it is. Let's get this done. I'll see you guys in a sec. And just like that, it is all done. Whew. It took no time at all. No word of a lie. So this is gonna provide us with enough water to last, hopefully, hopefully, to last nine full days of a drought with 300 beavers. But once we fill this all up with water, we shouldn't have to last three hundred uh, nine days. It should be relatively like around three days, I would say. This is the spine of our power, which I think looks pretty cool, to be honest with you. I kind of like it. Kind of like it looks very steampunky. 
Now I've been doing stuff as well around here. I've been directing the flow of water. Broken some of the barriers here, but, 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 but. There's not enough flow to get it to spill over into here. Once it does spill over into here though, I've closed up all of these and it should fill up to two blocks, I believe, or 1.5 plus that one, so about 2.5. So, what I've started doing, I've sent some beavers over here. They're gonna build this. Hopefully, they can reach there. There we go. Let's get the path. And then, they're gonna deal with blocking this area up. We're gonna open these two, and hopefully, that'll create a better flow because all the flow looks like it's going through here. So, we definitely need to stop this flow. Definitely we need to stop that flow right there. Why are you doing this one first? Oh no. Maybe that was just the closest for you at the time. Cool. Let's get that one open up. Well, ready to be opened up. Uh, that. That. There we go. So once that is all open up, we should get a decent flow going down to here and filling up this pool of water. We may need to block this off. You know what, I'm gonna put um, floodgates there just in case. Just in case we do. But I don't think we would need to. But these dots should be able to build that. Yeah, cool. And you might have seen there's a lot of dynamite hell of a lot of dynamite because now that we've done this the only thing that I'm going to do here maybe off camera is put some uh, swimming pools here, Lidos so that they can have a bit more leisure but that's pretty much done apart from this which we need treated planks we need to make a food area now I need to make food, enough food to provide a thousand beavers of food per day so that's like three thousand food per day so we're going to need a lot of space so there was a little mountain here so I've been slowly whittling that down to try and get it level with this uh, level of ground and I'm gonna do most of this area and some of this area and this is gonna turn into a massive beaver breeding and farm area so we're gonna get rid of all this industrial stuff we're gonna keep this little power system going down here maybe put a bit more they're gonna have their own water but they're going to have to hold 200 beavers. So that is going to be a whole redesign of this area. And that's going to start in the next episode. But, 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 you know what we can do in this episode? We can detonate these. <laughs> we can detonate them. Look at that one standing, defying my orders. <sighs> I'll get you. I'll get you. All right. So. Is this done yet? Okay, so that's kind of done. The flow is now coming here, so let's get rid of that and let's put that there. That should redirect the flow all the way down here. Are we in a drought? We're not. That should redirect the flow all the way down here. Yeah, I think we definitely needed this, to be honest. You guys need to do this. Don't waste your logs on that. And that should be pretty much done there. I don't know if I need to fill up this bit. I don't think I do. We'll check it out. And then that should fill up all the way down there. That should fill that up, which should then fill this whole area up with water because it really needs to be filled up at this point. It's running really low because I've closed this area off. <laughs> okay, so now that oh, auto save lag, now that's done. I'm still not getting the flow I need. It's all going through here. Hmm. I think we need to stop this because I don't really need it down here. 
to be honest with you. I'm not using anything here. So I need to get some beavers down here and to stop this. Now they won't be able to reach it. Would they? They might be able to if I get a path going through here. That's a far distance though. It's a far distance. But what I'm going to do for now, because look at that, that's run out of water. I'm going to put that 0.5. Let that start flowing. That should bring some flow. Yeah, it should pull it a bit. Okay, that's a little bit better. Hopefully it will come up to about here. Okay, okay, okay. So I think we are done for this episode. So we managed to get all the water done. We managed to get a power spine up and ready. For when we get our power district. The next episode, we're going to do a farming district, which this should all be cleared out before that happens. And I hope you guys have an amazing day and enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.